Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Well, life seems to be giving the whole of the world lemons at the moment, doesn't it? So I thought I thought I would come on and share this uh, journal of painty papers that I made three years ago. Some of you that have known me that long will already have seen it, but I just thought it seemed appropriate <laughs> because we're certainly getting lemons. Um, right, I, as with the, uh, the one from my previous video, I did it with a, this is the packaging from um, a duvet cover set and I'd covered it with wallpaper lining, if I remember rightly. Covered it with wallpaper lining. I think just love the sound. Covered it with wallpaper lining and then used my Dilusions paints. I painted it, looking at it, with a bright yellow and then just got a sponge and dabbed other colours on, then went round with a black circle of some description over some of them and then this is a was a napkin so I just tore the top layer off of the napkin and glued that down I can't remember what glue I used no idea probably Mod Podge or something and then I just went round highlighted with a black pen and I put some glossy accents or glossy type something on the slices of lemons in there and then I put oh where are we can we see oh yes all oh, eyelash trims there's two four there's five signatures in this one just again with elastics then I used all different eyelash trims to tie that together there and then I've got this chief lemon bottle that I'd saved and put in my box of um, scrap stuff and I thought yes that's just right for there and like I say I know a lot of you have already seen this but it was three years ago and I haven't done anything else to it since then oh, just, it's just going to be a flip through of papers did the same on the inside cover um, this one turned out a lot better than the previous one that I showed you. But you can still see the, the dimples of the cardboard, but I'm not too bothered. I still like it. And again, as I said in the other for the other one, I'd intended putting uh, some more papers there. Might make like a, a pad of papers or something. Because it because it was a nice big size, I just didn't want to cut it down to fit those papers. I thought, oh, I'll well, just do it different. And of course, I never did anything else to it, did I? Right, I'm still getting used to this new camera setup. So, uh, and these are oh, just a minute now. I've got a hair in my eye. Um, all of these papers are dendritic papers. Loads of them, look. <laughs> So, and for anybody that doesn't know what dendritic is, this it was a big thing of everybody doing it. Ooh, well, this has been made three years or more, over three years. So three to four years ago, I think the first person I saw do it was Shannon Green. And it's basically where you put, you get a sheet of glass or perspex, you put some acrylic paint on it and then you squish another piece of glass on the top of it and squash it down and then when you lift that top sheet off you're left with all these little, I think they're called dendrites, <laughs> all these little bits that I think look like coral and then you put paper on the top of your paint and you end up with, you've got piece of um, glass there and another piece that you've took off so you can use two sheets of paper put your paper on just gently pat it and then pull it off and you've got beautiful painty papers I haven't done that for a long long time or probably since I did all these because as per usual I can't just do five or ten sheets or one or two I have to do hundreds <laughs> 
but I love I love it. Oh, I had so much fun. And there was a lot of ladies at the time, and I'm sure since, that uh, took their papers, saw things in it, and made beautiful, you know, scenery pictures and different things. I, ha I haven't done any of that with mine as yet. All these things take time. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I just thought I would come and have a flip through. We're on all just different sorts. There's printer paper and these were card and this is some it was navy blue paper that it's a textured paper, like a linen paper. They are all pretty and they're just a bit different. If you've not done it and you like painty things, you will enjoy doing that. But I don't, I, I mean, I saw several people at the time doing it with just sheets of just glass out of picture frames. And it frightened me to death because, I mean, it's so fragile. And I thought, oh, no, I couldn't do that. So I used the, um, I used some, you can't see, over here I've got some, oh, goodness, worktop saver mats so I use those because at least they're they're a thicker glass and they're I don't know whether it's safety glass but they're all smooth on the edges but then I have done it with some uh, plates off of the rolly thing <laughs> embossing folder you put your embossing folders and that through Uh, and you get, uh, I think I found at the time, I got on better with cheap, like, kids' paints. Seem to work better than my, well, I haven't got any really expensive paints, but the kids' paints work better than the more expensive paints. an exciting thing to do <laughs> and looking at these it's making me want to do some more but no I'm not going to look this just looks like magic I'd imagine most people that watch my videos have seen this technique before anyway but there might be somebody that hasn't but it it is fun i mean or you could just use um you know something like this a plastic piece of plastic try on there two pieces of plastic or acetate out of packaging that sort of thing just try it's just fun if it doesn't work just Put some more paint on and do something else with it. Oh, they're so lovely. I really ought to do something else with them. As I said in the other video, I just love looking at them. And I do look at them <laughs> and stroke the papers. Just playing with paints and papers. Ooh, that one looks as though it's got glitter on. Where that come from? Glitter on. I bet I was doing another. It's not coming up. I bet I was doing another project with glitter, and I probably don't know. It doesn't look like I've actually put that on there on purpose. I don't know, but it's glittery. It's nice. That was with silver paints. See now, these papers, these would be nice cut up for flowers and different things. You can do anything, can't you? 
I just at the time because I have so many painty papers I thought oh, I'll put some in the book oh, I've got this one I'm sure these were just real ouch was my knee clicking real dirt cheap paints Real coral like. Coral comes seaweed. It's my like seaweed. I was trying to think of who it was that I saw do a beautiful painting. No, I can't remember. I think it was somebody that doesn't come on YouTube now. paper on the back what's occurring <laughs> as most of you know i do like to have some sort of color oh, white good lord i'm slipping <laughs> yeah i do like to have some sort of color on the back regardless of what i'm going to do with it because i think if i could stick it down then you stick it down i mean you get double-sided designer papers don't you which I mean, as much as I love them, it's a bit infuriating. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but I want that side, but then I want that side as well. <laughs> so I have mixed feelings, really, about double-sided papers. I mean, they're good for some things. You know, say if you was making boxes or something like that, that's good to have a double-sided designer paper. But then sometimes if you want to stick it down, it's like, oh, no. one on black card that's metallic paint that's really gorgeous and I usually go around the edges yeah look, I usually go oh, this must just be the batch of to finish in five years time ones <laughs> the texture is lovely look at that whether it's picking it up whether you can see Lovely, I love it. It's a nice one as well. I think that one is, I don't know. Looks as though that have probably got bits underneath it beforehand. And it didn't work very well. And that, that looks like a waterfall coming down there. Pretty white. Yes, so uh, that's my little book of dendritic painty papers. So that is all. So uh, let's all make lemonade of the lemons that have been thrown at us. <laughs> right, thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.